So what's happening on the left bank of the Dnipro River in southern Ukraine? Well, last summer, Ukrainian Marines from the 35th Brigade managed to cross and gain a foothold on the left bank. In October, they pushed out, taking the villages of Krinky and Pishkinivka. Remarkably, it's thought there may only be two or three hundred of them. They used amphibious transporters to move across some armoured personnel carriers, guns and equipment, and eventually secured a bridgehead around the small village of Krinky, about a mile inland from the river. The Russians sent in the 104th VDV Air Assault Division, a newly created and relatively inexperienced unit of about 6,000 men. The UK MOD said it suffered exceptionally heavy losses trying to dislodge the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians managed to deploy very effective radio jamming and electronic warfare. That stopped the Russian UAVs and gave Ukrainian kamikaze drones free reign to hit the enemy's howitzers and rocket launchers. The Russians have also used some pretty suicidal tactics, sending troops and vehicles into Ukrainian minefields. Back in November, Russian soldiers posted a video calling their commanders insane for the tactics they were using around Krinky. They said 80% of their battalion had been killed or wounded. The Ukrainians also have the advantage of topography. The western bank of the river, the Kherson side, is about 50 metres higher than the left. The Ukrainians have used that elevation to pound the Russians with artillery and tank fire and provide fire support for the Marines on the left bank. The Russians have reportedly lost 150 pieces of armour here, from tanks to Grad rocket launchers. But this has also been a costly operation for the Ukrainian Marines. They've not managed to build a pontoon bridge across the Dnipro, partly because it's too wide, but also because Russian artillery and drones have made it just too dangerous to try. Some estimates say Ukraine's lost 50 boats ferrying men and materiel across. The Ukrainians have moved better air defences down here around Kherson, and they managed to shoot down three Russian Su-34s, which made the Russians halt airstrikes around Krinky, at least temporarily. So what's going to happen here? Well, for a while there was thoughts the Ukrainians might be able to push out from here towards Crimea, but they're under heavy artillery fire and they're only operating in small assault groups. There's also been reports that the Russians have managed to push back into Krinky in several places, and the fighting here is extremely tough. But it seems the Ukrainians are holding on, and critically this battle is consuming Russian soldiers. Forces which can't be sent to Avdivka or Bakhmut, for instance, and for that reason alone, this small foothold is having a big impact on the war in Ukraine. Simon Newton, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.